Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the action. We are coming to you live on Sky Sports from the great city of Dublin. It's all brought to you by the Professional Dance Corporation. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Dublin final of the Kazoo Premier League. It's coming to you live. And ladies and gentlemen, for the thousands joining us live and the millions joining us around the world, it's time to meet the finalists. Would you please welcome back the winner of three Grand Slams, a Grand Prix champion, two World Series finals, a World Cup champion, and ladies and gentlemen, the former champion of the world. Welcome back, the winner of 148 PDC titles worldwide, a six-time Premier League champion, and a three-time champion of the world, mighty Michael. is who we're left with then here on night four in Dublin. Price and Van Gogh will meet in tonight's final. Well, Gerwin Price is here after a quality 6-4 victory over Dimitri van der Berg in the quarter-finals, where he averaged 104, fired in eight, uh, five maximums and hit 50% of his doubles. Had seven perfect darts as well. Yet to see a non-darter tonight or in the Premier League yet. Yeah. Uh, and in the semi-finals, it was a real clinical 6-1 victory over the world number one, Michael Smith. For Michael Van Gerwen then, a 6-3 victory over Chris Doby in his quarter-final. Solid display win, 99 average. And then the same scoreline, a 6-3 win over Johnny Clayton in his semi-final. Well, these two mentioned it on the stage with Laura. They've met already this season. That was night two in Cardiff in the semi-finals when Gerwen Price defied a huge 111 average from Mighty Mike. Here's a look at the table then. Eight points, both level on eight points. Winner here tonight obviously adds another couple and will go above Michael Smith to top the table come the end of the night. Well, make of this what you will. The last three weeks, the winner of the second semi final has won the final. Who wins then in comms for the final tonight? I hand you over to Mark Webster and Rod Studd. Thank you, Emma. Yes. A great darting denouement here in Dublin as Gerwin Price takes on Michael Van Gerwen. As Emma said, a lot at stake here. £10,000 to the winner of this match, the title of winner in Dublin in week four, and the league leadership of the Premier League 2023 heading into Exeter for week five. Now, Van Gerwen here goes off favourite, Mark, but. Kevin Price, arguably, has been the better of the two players up to press tonight. Who do you fancy for this final? Well, oh, I'm, I'm going with Gerwin Price. He's won the ball as well, and, and he's he's been slightly more clinical tonight than Michael Van Gerwen. But it is it's the correct final. It's the two best players on the night meeting in the final. That isn't always the case. On this occasion, both have contributed a lot to the night. And, I comfortably got through their two matches and arrived at this final rematch, like Emma said, from Cardiff. Gerwin Price won on that occasion. That was a semi-final. 
And one of these will head into Exeter as a table topper and our first match in Exeter next week. Kevin Price versus Michael Van Geering. Indeed it is. And uh, not only week two in Cardiff, but in the Premier League last year, Gary Price had the edge in their meetings, 3-1 in the four meetings to the Welshman. And what a contrast mark with the early meetings with Van Gerwen when he won precisely none of his first 19 matches against MBG before he beat him at the Grand Slam in 2019 in the semi. He had to stay patient, didn't he, Rod? And there was a, there was a, a draw in the Premier League where he really should have won, shouldn't he? And maybe that could have set the trend, but Gerwen Price is... Like many players, well, the majority of players has a losing record against Michael Van Gooey, but you've just got to approach every game. Right. Right. Gedwin Price has left 14 for 38. He, he's looked at the wrong score, or... I'm not sure if he thinks the score was wrong on the board and it's been changed, but either way, he's got to go for the 38 now and gets the job done. Good composure showed, he can smile about it now, but that could have been a pivotal moment. Kevin Price strikes first. Yeah, clearly something was wrong. He looked at the wrong score, or he just got confused, and whatever, he must have thought he wanted 54, you would assume. Well, yeah, I'm guessing he's glanced over and it was incorrect on the scoreboard. You've got to listen to what the referee calls out, and you were called the correct score. Either way, it's one leg to nil. It doesn't matter now, does it, Mark? That's the thing. All that went before is irrelevant now. He won the leg, and there's the first match of this match to Michael Van Gerwen. Now, he had half a dozen maximums against Price in week two, and a couple of ton plus out shots, as everyone was saying, averaged over 110, and still got beat Van Gerwen in that match. Mismatch starts in that game, Michael Van Gerwen. Gerwin Price just hung on in there and took his chance and went on to win the evening. Struck early here. Yeah, Van Gerwen thought he should have won that game. When you have match starts and more than one, and it wasn't just a poke of bullseye, there was a couple of the outer ring as well. You feel he should get the job done. He missed a brace of match starts, didn't he? In one leg. Now he's on the cusp here of levelling the match with a two dark combination finish with Price head, unable to do anything about it for now 20 for tops has to move yeah, has to shift, but there's always the case with, well, with both these players with the dark stick up to the task the opening couple of legs shared here in night four's final three winners so far Chris Doby in Belfast, Kevin Price in Cardiff Michael Smith was victorious last week in Glasgow. Surprised with the opportunity to become the first double winner of 2023. Van Gerwen looking to extend the sequence of new winners, if you will, for this year and make it four different winners in the 2023 Premier League. And he ploughs on looking for a nine dart leg. He can't do it now, obviously, but we've seen Price go off max max on two occasions tonight and go seven darts into a nine on one occasion. One hundred and thirty-four. Good switch from Gerwin. Michael Van Gerwen's carved himself out an opportunity here to break the throw. May go for 25 here. Goes aggressive on the treble 19. Nine darts thrown down to 84. Opportunity incoming. For the defending Premier League champion. 40. Michael e. McCoy, we'll hope to get two at a double. He won't now. He'll be looking to get one. Well, he will get one at double 12 in the end. 60. And Gerwin Price shaking his head. Because that last start cost him an opportunity here. Just got to try and bring the 171 down and hope for some errors for Michael Van Gerwen. Otherwise, we're going to witness our first break of throw in the final. Michael e. McCoy, 24. And there it is, the third on double 12, Michael and Michael Van Gerwen has like the break of throw. The break of throw that he craved, that he needed to win this final, he's got it early doors. He got himself a break in Belfast against Chris Doby. Doby worked his way back into the tie in that final, so Michael won't be taking it for granted here. Got to keep his foot on the accelerator, finish the job. Only a small advantage early here. 140. 
MVG, six-time winner of the Premier League, the defending champion, Price's his record by comparison in this tournament is miserable, yet to make a playoff. Fifth is best place finish in the Premier League, which is incredible when you think about it, he's had four attempts at it. And in, his, in his debut, he didn't even pick up a win, did he, because of a couple no. of draws and he was... He's, he's very, he was really down at the end of that and he's like whether he could put himself in that position again but he's had a few more goes didn't go to plan last year we drew a couple of years ago with a positive covid test is this the year he cracks that top four two at tops there's one of them tops again and Kevin Price with a double double out shot levels up this final Van Gerwen was waiting to swoop but the opportunity was snuffed out by Price. Big roar from Gerwin Price, and you can see on the replay there, he just, he just aimed at that first start. A couple of holds Get and a couple off. of breaks, and we're all square, two legs apiece. We talked about it tonight, Rob, the, the top hitting from Gerwin Price is... 100. I'm not going to say on the same part as when he won that world title, but it's getting there, isn't it? It's a lot more clinical. He was the best double top hitter in world 60. darts that year. And he's a pretty good treble top hitter as well. Witness this. Fist pumping peacockery now from Gerwin Price. He brought himself a healthy lead in this leg. Mentioned as well. He got himself a win early in Belfast last year and didn't follow up until Sheffield, which was the. 14. So if he can get a win here, it's a weak gap and giving himself the best opportunity to make that top four. It's still very early and there's a lot of that to be played. Van Gerwen stormed to success in week four last year. It was an exeter that year, week four, but he won that tournament in very impressive style, scintillating style, in fact, Gary with the white ones winning the final over Peter Wright. He only, I think he only dropped a couple of legs in the other two games as well, he was dominant. He made to work here, but he's going to get a, a look at the 1-2-4. Are oh, we about to see a third consecutive break of throw? We may see the bullseye come into play here. It's going to have to for Michael Van Gerwen to clinch the leg. Bullseye! 99. Just pulls it low. Gerwin Price Gary, still got work to do, he's got to split this 15. Well, a choice here, and he chooses double four off the single seven. And now he's double two. And two darts go begging there for the Welshman, and Van Gerwen with a 25 kill. Poor setup playing the previous visit to that from Gerwin Price. Van Gerwen to lead again here. And misses. Errors in the fifth leg. And Price. Regain the lead. Well, and double one after all the high quality arrows action of this evening. The former world champion has to go knocking on the door of the madhouse to regain the lead at 3 2. Got away with one there. Get him in. The set up play. Real mess at the back end of that leg. Relied on some errors from Michael Van Gerwen restores the lead and we've seen him do this often in there drop of that and still get the 180 and he does it here he did it in that combination of the nine dart finish in the premier league in belfast last year well as a former rugby player he's used to hearing the whistle go after a knock on but in darts you get a second chance without penalty and he was able to pick it up and find the treble 97 I'll tell you what, Mark, he's in good shape 89. here to go 4 2 up, isn't he? He should give himself some breathing space here. And the crowd getting behind Gerwin Price. I mentioned that they kind of were with him last week in Glasgow, and it, that's where he's, he's copped it the most, doesn't he? Because of his rivalry with Gary Anderson. He's starting to win them over, Gerwin Price. He's still got work to do here. Bullseye for 4 2. Just the wrong size of opportunity for Michael Van Gerwen now. Macy top tops again here. He doesn't find the first treble. Now 
25 we see oh, Van Gerwen fail to mop this up earlier on in the final Price goes a different route he prefers double 12 can't find it though could have been 4 2 either way, can it? Is it 3 3? Okay. Oh. He's now missed nine darts of doubles in this match, Michael Van Gerwen. Surely he won't get any more opportunities in his leg, and he's not going to. Gerwin Price gets some breathing space. It's three consecutive legs now for the Welshman, and he's two away from victory here in night four at Dublin. Well, between them, the two Aerosmiths have missed 16 darts at a double in this final. Unexpected and uncharacteristic, but that's what's happened. And the net result of all that is that Price leads four legs to two, closing in on a second nightly success in the space of a fortnight. And Kersey winning the ball as well. He's massively in the driving seat. He's technically One a double breaker ten, because Michael 40. Van Gerwen's got to get a couple if he's going to turn this around. And Price put himself in a similar One position ten, against Michael Smith 40. in the semi-final. Got a break early. He got to find himself a second break and won comfortably. Well, he's taken to wearing the rugby colours of the city he's in with Cardiff in red and Dublin here in green. I don't know if he's going to be back to the black, the colours of the Exeter Chiefs in Devon next week. But he didn't, he didn't sport blue in uh, uh, Glasgow, did he? But, I mean, it could be the way forward to win punters over. And here he goes with some darts that'll win people over. Magic darts. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant set of play. And Michael Van Gerwen. He got himself to play in the errors. He's averaging more, despite all those missed darts of doubles. But Gerwin Price in complete control. And looking at a 5-2 lead, and it is a 5-2 lead. He's one away for winning a second night title. He won in Cardiff two weeks ago, and he's in a great position to win here in night four in Dublin. Yeah, Van Gerwen now has to win four consecutive legs, or Price is the week four winner. And I don't think you could deny him it. He really has been exceptional. A darting demolition of the world champion Mark, Michael Smith and now threatening to do something similar 95. to the Premier League champion. A couple of opportunities to throw out the victory getter in price. And you feel the game got away from Michael Van Gogh in, in that sixth leg. And unless he can find four consecutive legs. Price on top here in Dublin. 85. Not Michael done yet though, Michael. Should recover this leg. Even after that, he should still. But if Price can knock in a biggie here with a couple of trebles, it'll change the narrative of leg eight. Michael, you require 108. To pull one back. Otherwise, Kevin Price gets a look at the 170. 16 on 8. Tops for 5 3. So, an opportunity for Gedwin Price to clinch the title in style. Oh, in style, you say. He had to get over, well, I say, he had to get over to the left side of the ball because he felt it was loose, but that last start was quite close. Has been missing. Michael Van Gerwen converts, prolongs his final, Michael needs some breaks of throw. Gerwin Price now has the advantage of throwing first for the victory. He's within touching distance of the title and within sight of the league leadership here, Gerwin Price. 100. He's enjoyed an excellent evening in the Irish capital up to press. Can he finish it off? 59. There's an opening for Van Gerwen. Follow in. Does force the third that in there. We're not done yet. Gerwin Price picks off a last start with treble 18. Hey, 
83. In the match play final last year, Gerwin Price ran away with the early exchange, but Michael Van Gerwen kept fighting away, keep chipping away. Granted, a longer format, but Gerwin Price will be well aware of it. Still delicately poised. Van Gerwen here will have a chance to move within a leg of the Welshman. And suddenly things are starting to get interesting. He gets back on throw. Double 16. And we are back on throw. Still no real emotion from Michael Van Gerwen. Very interesting now, Mark. If Van Gerwen can level. Now. We've already alluded to week one against Doby, the final there. That went all the way. Doby had the darts, didn't he? And that proved decisive, I think, in the 11th leg. Although he needed a 160 still to win it, Chris Doby, didn't he? Yeah, it was a big finish. It's our only final so far that's gone to a deciding leg. Holden Price. 16 Cardiff. Michael Smith, 6 4 last week in Glasgow. Price has known for some time he just needs one really good leg. But he's known that since he led 5 2. And he hasn't been able to produce a good leg, a really good leg in leg 8 or leg 9. And now he's in danger of being pushed all the way by the green machine. But which man is the green machine out there? I'm not sure. I was just about. And Price. Avoid the drama, but last leg decided to get the job done here. If Michael Van Gerwen can't take the 1 3 2. Bullseye for the 1 3 2. What an effort. But Price will surely get at least one dart of the bullseye for the match. He'll get two, a double 15. To win. 60. Two match darts have come and gone for Gedwin Price. And Van Gerwen to send us all the way, and we yeah, are going all the way. And, and we see a first little bit of emotion from Michael Van Gerwen. It's advantage Gedwin Price, he's got the darts. And you've led 5 2. That advantage feels very slender. There were some smiles at the back end of that leg from Gedwin Price, but there were smiles that masked disappointment, frustration. And a nervous realization that he could get beat here from 5 2 in front. 60. Bought himself a little bit of a lead. No treble for Michael Van Gerwen, but is Gerwin Price going to follow? He has 60. nerves, understandably, in the deciding leg. Now, in week two, Van Gerwen mismatched darts and Price pounced. Will the roles be reversed here? Will it be Price missing match dirts and Van Gerwen swooping? Have a great deal in it. Bit of a fly with the second dart for Michael Van Gerwen into the five. He did that one, get him in Price. Relief, you can see it there. Price favourite now. In front by 19 plus these, but if these don't add up to very much, Van Gerwen is still in it. 81. He leaves the same finish that Doby beat Van Gerwen with in week one. But Van Gerwen was threatening to leave something closer 82. to the finishing line. And you can see the frustration. He's tried to clatter into the first start and it's deflected into the Gerwin treble the one. And it's give Gerwin Price six starts at 160. He's set up a minute well, he'll set for turn now. What will he leave? One He'll leave double ten. And he's delighted with that as well he might be. Because Van Gerwen can do nothing here apart from set up a finish and hope for the best. One hundred and forty. Price has already missed Gerwin two for 20. the match and for the title here in Dublin. He wants double ten. He wants double five. Five match darts gone. Michael Van Gerwen is going to get an opportunity to win four consecutive legs and get his first night win. He's missed one. 
One more at double eight. And he's missed more opportunities for Gerwin Price. Drama in the last leg here in Dublin. Oh, well, that's incredible. Gerwin Price has missed five of the match already. He's going to get another two here. Double one. Three. You would not believe it. You can't believe it. Van Gerwen. Wins! It's delight in Dublin for Michael Van Gerwen. He survives a bunch of match darts from Gerwin Price to get over the line. He wins his first night of the 2023 Premier League. And not only that, the defending Premier League champion is now top of the table. He moves ahead of Price. He moves ahead of the world champion Michael Smith. And it's MBG top of the pile after a nail-biting success over the Iceman Gerwin Price, who missed double after double after double for the match, seven of them in total. But Gerwin missed a couple himself, but in the end held on to hit double four and avenge his defeat in week two by the Welshman. So Van Gerwen start in Dublin, a city where he has won five times in the World Grand Prix. And tonight he wins in the Premier League and Van Gerwen wins in Dublin to go top of the Premier League.